Okay, here I come. If anybody can handle this, it's you, honey. And I just got a call from the Delta New 24-hour housing hotline. Your apartment's all set. Great. Al! Oh, my God. You look like the 4th of July. That makes me want a hot dog real bad. Yeah, okay. Well, you gotta get going, honey. Okay. Al, look at this. According to Animal Fair magazine, your new boss is the best groomed woman in Washington. And her beagle's name is Dolly Madison, which is my grandma's stripper name. Isn't that a good sign? Communion After Dark.
Welcome back to Community After Dark. It is the week of July 3rd, and we have DJ Mouse back with us. All yeah. right. Hi, Mouse. Hi. Thank you for joining us. It is the we is a new Community After Dark, and um, I'm Paradise. You just heard my set. The last uh, track was by a band called, which was track seven, if you're counting at home. It was by a band called Nordica. They're out of Mexico. They have a brand new album out called Ragnarok. And the song I played was Lost Generation. That was featuring Henrik Iverson, who is of the old uh, fame, or he was in the old band that's no longer around, Nam Nam Bulu. At least I don't think they're around anymore. Oh, Nam Nam Bulu, Nam Nam Bula. But they're fantastic. And uh, yeah, he does some vocals periodically for Nordica, and this was the one he did on their new album. So go check that out. Good stuff. Uh, the sixth song in my set was by DSTR, which is Daniel Meyer out of uh, Germany. Daniel Meyer's project, when he's not doing How Job or Liebnik or whatever project okay. he's out there doing. Uh, he has a new single out called Disappear. And it's a digital single. It's a two-track digital single. You can pick that up on all streaming services. So go buy it and give him some love. Fantastic new song, again, by uh, Daniel Meyer. Very talented artist, of course. Fifth track in my set was by Evil Lucian. Or Evolution, I guess. But there's a hyphen in between. Um, and the song you heard was Vorwarts. Or, yeah, Vorwarts. Vorwarts. Okay, thank you. <laughs> and that's on, that's a digital single on Dance Macabre Records. Sounds like that could be like a bookstore at Hogwarts. Yeah, it does. You're right. I didn't even think about that part. And the fourth track in Paradise is that it's Brand New Elm out of Sweden. And that was the song Shocker. And that's the club mix. And that is on Penetrator, Bullman, and Vejo that you can get on Alpha Matrix. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what Bullman at Vejo means. Um, I do know that this is basically a, a Elm had released Penetrator. They're full-length album last year in 2022 and uh, this is dance mixes club extended mixes of those tracks um and so they added in the fullman at Vejo. i'm sure somebody out there will tell me what it means i bring and lightning that, that's what it means that's I a bring translation lightning. yep i just googled it what All language right. is that yeah well um, yeah thank you what did it translate it to uh latin oh, i bring okay. lightning Oh. Thank you, Winters. You're welcome. So when I bring lightning. So uh, Elm, of course, is a classic sound. Has that classic four, four on EBM. the floor EBM sound from Sweden. If you like EBM, Elm is the band that is, in my opinion, at the top of their game with that sound nowadays, for sure. See, I always thought it was ELM because they're EBM. Well, his name is Peter Elm. Oh, so cool. I don't know... Well, there goes that theory. Uh, yeah, maybe it's E. Yeah, but that's his last name. So but maybe he can get a shirt set made that says Elm EBM. Maybe. Maybe. With a hyphen with spaces. All right. What was the third track? Gold Mouse. Okay. Uh, the third track we heard was Brand New Chain Reactor from Germany with a song called Open Eyes from their new Venom release. And you can get that on Pro Noise and Bandcamp. The second track in my set was by was the band Black Car Burning, which is uh, Mark Hawkins of Mesh. Uh, Black Car Burning um, is his new project, I guess, that he's doing while he's not doing Mesh. It's on Cop International, he has a full-length album out now. The song I played was Reset. So yeah, go give if you're a fan of Mesh, then you will love this new Black Car Burning album because it's it's fantastic. I got I got my deluxe in the mail. It comes with a um, a USB uh, wristband. Nice uh, artwork and some music on it, and then it came in a tote bag with an autograph card and the, a two CD set with a second disc, which it's exclusively just for the second disc for the um, deluxe. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Good deal. Good to know. So there you go. You can go pick up the. Black Car Burning um, Limited Edition and get some cool stuff with it. All right. Um, and I started this set off with a exclusive 
uh, world premiere as well to this show. State of the Union has a new single that he was kind enough to share with the show called Purgatory. And it's unreleased, as I mentioned. I don't know when that's going to be available. Maybe we can get some more information from Johan in the future uh, as to when that will be available. Um, however, State of the Union is coming to Tampa, Florida on October 13th. That's right. You should be at that show if you're a fan of Future Pop, Synth Pop, Dance, EBM. There's no reason not to be at that show. It's going to be a fantastic show. And um, as gold has played many years at the castle and I, I when I was DJing there with Gold um, Radio Man by State of the Union Love is Complicated were played constantly at the castle so there's no reason not to come and see this show it's going to be a fantastic show and State of the Union is great um, and there, uh, we have Retractor which I think is really awesome a band out of Miami that I've never had um, play here in Tampa uh, opening for that show so it's very cool to see that um, two Infected bands, because they're both on Infected recordings at one point, uh, will be at that show. So it should be fun. All right. We're going to do a shot of the week so we can uh, have some fun with Mouse, because Mouse is here, and so it's time for our shot of the week. All right. It is shot of the week time. Oh, we got we got DJ Carlton here as well. DJ Shaky Butts. Or whatever your name used to be. I don't remember. I apologize. My husband, he's not naked today, guys. That's right. And uh, Winters, Oops. Mouse, and Golden uh, Mouse has got Kool Aid. Yeah, and vodka. All right. <laughs> Here we and go. So Cheer. the Kool Aid's your chaser. I got it. I got it. Yeah. All right. All right. Cheers. 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 Uh, drink your drink. Oh, gross. Oh. Oh, God. Wow. Yes. Mike is showing off his penis gun, guys. Oh. It's a penis water gun. That's why there was a penis in his mouth. I can't even <laughs> finish this. The, my, I, I mixed banana liqueur with uh, lemon vodka, and it curdled. <laughs> and I, was, I, I didn't realize it curdled because it's dark in here. <laughs> You had chunks? It, Chunky. Oh, it's gross, man. Oh. oh my god. Texture. What did you have, Gold? Oh, I had a uh, rumple mints. Well, that's awesome. But it was warm, so it was gross. Oh. Ugh. oh my god. I think we have had the worst drinks of any show ever in the <sighs> entire world. I agree. Bad. Uh, um, all right. Well, Gold's going to be next, so we'll come back from our music in a few minutes, but I did want to thank everybody again who continues listening to our podcast, subscribing. Our YouTube is getting um, very close now, 35,000 subscribers, which is fantastic. We're, we're inching up there. And I uh, also wanted to announce that if you live in the Tampa area or around the Tampa area, there's some cool events going on this month in July. One concert specifically that Community After Dark Productions is putting on and that is Morris Black with Danny Blue Yay. and that is going to be in Orlando and Tampa July 14th in Orlando with Sin 9 as one of the op local opening bands and um, July 15th in um, I'm sorry that July 14th in Orlando July 15th is in Tampa and Mouse and Vane are going to be DJing at the Tampa show with Lane Lyre opening, too. So that'll be a large amount of fun. It'll be a fantastic two shows. Please come out and support that if you can. Uh, it's the only show that we're doing in July. And um, Vane is DJing both shows. So if you want to, like, do a double Vane, you know, or whatever, I don't know how you would put, you know. Double Vane. You want to follow vein. Vane around, you know, go to Orlando on the 14th and follow her to uh, Tampa on the 15th. And, so. and run up to her and give her a hug. <laughs> no, no. You'll love that. Oh my God, no! Did you did you see do how it, cool do, uh, it, Dan, do it. You see how cool uh, Danny Blue, Danny Blue's tour shirts are? I love Danny Blue. I love see, Danny they, Blue. They say, they say they say they say I'm gay for Danny Blue. Oh my God! I'm so, gonna. So you gotta buy those. an advance and wear them while you're DJing, both you guys. 
Oh, that would be great if you guys ordered those and both wore them. Well, kind of. I, I don't yeah. know if he's selling them. I don't know if he's selling them in advance, but I saw these, these, these shirts he's taking on tour. It looks pretty cool. So come on, support, please. It will be. It means a large amount to support these smaller artists. I cannot stress that enough. Uh, they're very cheap shows, and um, yeah, I mean it's fantastic. I like we went to the Cure, right? Which was well, most of us did. Uh, and Mouse has seen the cure a couple times, so she decided to skip I opted this out. one. Yeah, yeah it but, was a fight to get tickets. It was like crazy. Yeah, so it just... and it's fantastic because these legacy bands that are touring, it's amazing to see them again. But trust me, one thing I can tell you is that it's much more expensive than smaller bands, and the smaller mm -hmm. bands need your money more than uh, Robert Smith needs your money. That, that doesn't mean that you shouldn't go see Robert Smith. That's not what I'm saying to you people. So just listen, but. I'm telling you that these smaller bands, in order for them to survive and keep making music and touring, that's how they, they make their living. So if you can support these smaller shows, it's a big help and it's much cheaper as well. And The Cure started out as a small band. A small sure, band. at one point. That's what I'm saying. You support the small bands now, you hopefully give them the leverage to make it and yeah. be able to support themselves on creating their music, such as like The Cure and bigger bands did, you know, I mean, right. it's a long haul, but you get to see them in these smaller venues before they get so big that you would have to pay all and that money. And then you get to tell people, I saw this I band saw when they started that. out in, in 2000 and... Exactly. 2020. Yep. And, and, and that's nothing against, again, I, I'm excited about seeing Depeche Mode and all these bands, but again, I'm sure if Dave Gahan didn't make a single penny off of uh, this tour that he's on, he'd be okay. But I, I mean, I, he, he should make money because he's he, not it's, 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 it's his music and he should be making as much money as he can. However, I think Mark Gore makes more I money than him. I don't think they mm -hmm. would be uh, struggling. So, all right. Um, who is, uh, oh, gold's next. So come back for some gold. Music. This is Community After Dark Radio and you are listening to DJ Gold. Take the things we do, but we don't understand. 
Thank you. 
everything you do Destroy everything you touch today Destroy me this way Anything that may delay you Might just save you You only have to look behind you At who's underlined you Destroy everything you touch today Everything you t-
try to watch your face, to learn it like a poem, no right to whisper to your heart, to tell you that I love you, that I love you very much.
Welcome back to Comedian After Dark. I'm DJ Tom, and you just heard Brute Control. I played this bit from Germany. I played them last week, and I can't get enough. So this is another track called Moral Improvements from their Sleep No More release on Bandcamp. And prior to that, we heard from a classic band that's back out, SA42 from Germany. They have a new single. It's called From A to B. This is going to be from a new album that's coming out soon. I saw they have an album coming out, but I don't remember the date, but so... This is a taster. So it's on, it uh, they're on Isle of Line still, right? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah. Cool. As far yeah. as I remember. Yeah, the first single they released, uh, which was like two weeks, three weeks back. I don't know. That was really well, That's good right. Too. They did have another one besides that. Yeah, so this is the second, the second uh, single. single. Mm-hmm. That's maybe they're doing, maybe Signal they're doing Out 42? Yes. That's yes. been around forever? Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And yeah. I, I, maybe they're doing the Blue Dingle thing and release some more singles. Prior to that, we heard Can't Can't Kino from Germany. They did they did a Cure cover called Push, and that's from the new tribute album called A Strange Play Volume Two, out on Alpha Matrix. Alpha Matrix. Hey, um, there's the Cure. All right. Yeah, and they and the, and the Cure they played Push too, and we saw them. That's right, they did. Yep. That was and yeah. Then, and then I went to the bathroom of the show and pushed. Oh. <laughs> the Cure set was fantastic. You can't. That's one thing you cannot say about the Cure. They do not cheat. Their listeners on the amount of songs that they play. They play they a lot. They play three hours. Three hours. Yeah, you think yeah. they don't. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and, and actually, Tampa, which was, I don't know why exactly, but Tampa was their shortest set on their whole tour I read today, um, which was kind of, I mean, because it was still a very long show, but it was it was actually literally their shortest set that they played on their whole tour. Probably had yeah, something to do with the event. Probably or something to do with the venue. Well, the, the, it stopped ten, 10 to eleven, and it has to end by eleven. So I think they just wanted oh, to just cut that's it right why. there. They yeah. just cut it right there. They could have, they could have went up right up to the eleven, but they just didn't want to push it. I guess they. You know. That makes more you know, sense. I think there's, he wanted to give time for everybody to clap and shake people's hands and do everything. There's sixteen thousand people there, so they had to clear it out. Yeah. That makes more sense. So I didn't realize Tampa had a. Um, a a cut off time. If, if it's all yeah. ages, if it's all ages, yeah. It's a curfew. Okay. Mm-hmm. The fourth track in Gold Set was Lady Tron. Yeah. So this is the song "Destroy Everything You Touch." Uh, we know that one from a really? long time back, but this is the Space Motion remix. What? So they really, just put out a really new mixes. remix. Wow. A couple of them. They've done a couple songs and. And released uh, really cool shirts too. They made it like a Coca Cola shirt, and it says "Destroy Everything You Touch." It oh does. The Coca Cola shirt is like cool, and I want to say this black. is my favorite remix on there. So awesome! And uh, they're on Bandcamp. Lady Tron is on Bandcamp. Yeah, they got everything nice. on there. Mm-hmm. And the third track in Tom's set is "Brand New Body of Light" out of the U.S. And this is the track "This Conversation." That is on the new album that literally just dropped this past weekend, Bitter Reflection on Dias Records. If you like the, I haven't had a chance Depeche to listen mode. to the whole album yet, but it's so good. Yeah, it, what it's I heard. Kind of, we kind of sound like the best road around the people or people era a little bit. Really? Yeah. Mm, I love nice. them. I will check that out then. I like I like that people are people song. Emma, didn't you travel to Atlanta? I to did. Go see Body of Light. You did. I you did. did. It was a Dias Records showcase, and it had mm-hmm. Drab Majesty and uh, Body of Light. All right, nice. What was the second song you? Oh, saying? we heard a brand new Love and Revenge. This is a kind of a super group that has uh, members of the Fair Sex, Rotter Sand, uh, uh, two others I can't remember. But the song is called Neo Blooded Girl, and this is from a new album called. A love against a lover, and that's self-released, and that's um, it's not a band camp, but you can get it through all the other major uh, music portals. Nice, I've been waiting for that. I didn't realize it was out, so I have to go I didn't realize. That up. Yeah, good, but it's good. probably because it's not on band camp, and I get emails from band camp and everything else. I have to like set <laughs> reminders. Winters loves band. Yeah, no, this one's not on band camp. When they actually don't put their state, their stuff is all through. Um, what what apple um, I, I buy mine on amazon amazon it's usually yeah. cheaper on there from them i don't know why i mean it's weird because like most bands like like i know with most bands they are on Bandcamp, but um yeah, yeah. this one they did they, they don't put their stuff on band camp. well there's maybe, quite maybe, a few bands that aren't on Bandcamp that you have to go to itunes and everything to hmm. buy it yeah. okay 
I don't know. Maybe it has something to do with the maybe it has something to do with the different members, and it may be a breach of contract working mm. together outside of their bands. I have a bunch of songs in my set that I couldn't find on Bandcamp, and then I had to go get in on. Um, I got it on Apple. Really? Plus my stuff. Mm. Yeah. Wow. See, I I, I didn't know. I, I, all right. Well, there we go. So check out the other streaming services then. Would, well, I'm sorry. Would you start well, off with? Well, we started off with brand new Neon Spaceman from from Germany. They have a brand new single out called Things. And uh, there's a bunch of remixes on it. But this is the Rob Dust remix, and it's from the things, the Ballad of Adam and Steve. And you can get that on Bandcamp. Yeah, we were invited. Um, uh, whoever, um, I mean, Gold, myself, or whoever decides to go WGT next year, Winters. Uh, um, well, I don't know if we're all invited. So I should say that. But Stefan, uh, Stefan Ballant, who lives about two hours from Leipzig, invited us over to his man cave, um, oh. and. And he, he said he could have uh, the dude from Neon Spaceman and and the dude from Beyond Border come over and hang out with us. I'm coming, <laughs> Stefan. Dude, I would go to Germany I'm for coming. that. I'm coming to hang out with your man, Kate. Mouse is supposed to be going to Germany with us because Mouse is always We're all cad. coming. We're all she's coming like to your man, Kate. She's grandfathered in and is cad. Like, that's just all well, she's going to drive. <laughs> I'm going to drive. Yeah. Mouse is going to drive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> gonna drive to Germany. We're coming. We we're coming. coming. We're driving to Germany. Ste- Let's Stefan's go. Stefan's gonna be like, um, uh, maybe not. He said we get. <laughs> he, said, he said he said we get to sign his door. I'm, I'm excited. His man cave, by the way, I've seen pictures of his man cave. It's fantastic. He's got double, uh, double. Um, what do you call those? Um, record players. Well, I don't know what do you, what it, I guess it's like DJ called. record players where they have yeah. the, the dueling. They duel. Yeah, but he's got two of them, and then he's got the mixer in between them. So, fantastic. Awesome. Yeah, That's what I have in my man cave. What, you have two record yeah, players? Actually, I have two turntables and a, and a mixer. Oh, I didn't know that. That's very cool. I got two wow. turntables and a microphone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, that was uh, that was my spiel. But um, who's – oh, Mouse. Mouse, you're next. I am next. Gerber. I'm going to start out with Seraphim System. This is Maniac Dark Radio, and you are listening to DJ Mouse. Ruber, SNW, Winchester, Springfield, Rock. Heckler and Coke. Guns don't make goth music. I do.
don't make goth music. I do. Did you hear what they call us?
After Dark. Welcome back. It is the third set of the show. And uh, I'm Mouse. And my set ended off with Schoiber. Is that how you say it? Schoiber? Schoiber. No, Tom knows better than us. Cause what was, it, was it? Mel said Schweiber. Schweiber? Schweiber. Because it's, it. like, it's not like Dennis's last name. It's, He's Schober. Schober. He's, yeah, right. Yeah. This is Schoiber. Mm-hmm. Um, out of Germany, and he is an ex-member of Project Pitchfork. That's why it sounds like Project Pitchfork. Uh, this was the song Lotus, um, the Angel Eyes remix. So Lotus came out about four months ago, and now he's putting out um, remix editions. You can get this on the remix edition part one single. That's cool. on Tree Soul. That, see, I know now Tree Soul is one of those art labels I know for a fact does not put much stuff on Bandcamp. Bandcamp, yeah. 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 So I, I got this on uh, the link I provided was from Apple. Gotcha. All right. Cool. Uh, the sixth song in my set was some Dark Synth from Magnavolt. Uh, Magnavolt is a producer out of, well, he's Polish, but he lives in Sweden. And uh, the song I played was War Zone from the album Motoko 2. And you can get it on Kenta Records. And then the fifth song in my set was a band I found called Nova Sila. Um, they were kind of hard to find. Um, and they are Czech. Wow. I that's, think. That's something different. Yeah, I think they're Czech because um, they have they had some, uh, some titles on their album. And I had put that into Google Translator to tell me what language it was to figure out where they're from. Mm -hmm. So I hope I'm right. Uh, The song was NNN, which stands for No New Normal, from their album Dalsi Den. And that's kind of like an industrial slash cold wave sound. It was just really loud and I really liked it a lot. Uh, And I provided the Bandcamp link where you can get it. And the fourth song in Mouse's set is by Vexagon. Yay! Yay, that's And that was the track Eyes Without a Face. And that's oh, the Eyes so Without a Face single. Obviously, that's a cover. It's not. It's, it's not. not a cover. It's not, what? <laughs> it's not <laughs> Billy Idol. What? I think he did that on purpose. It's not a like, Billy Idol cover? No. I was listening to the whole song, and I'm like, this song is really good. And I'm like, what? Did he how do can that, that to how, people? How can, how can you choose that title, though? I don't understand. I know. I don't know. You should Crazy. write him a letter. I write Vexagon. I'm writing you a letter. I like Vexagon a lot. I haven't heard that track though, but I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go listen to you it. You must be like, I'll, I'll make it the same title and then people will go listen to it thinking it's a Billy Idol cover. So here's the thing, Winters. Vexagon has an entire Bandcamp discography, but mm-hmm. this song- it, It's not on there. Just released and it's not on there. I would have gotten an alert because mm. yeah, I didn't get an alert. So when Strange. I saw that you were playing this, I was like, Vexagon. Yeah. Huh. You have to find it on Apple. Because I don't get alerts from Apple and Amazon and all and, those. It's mm-hmm. like, yeah. And I found it through Spotify. So if I wasn't paying attention to my Spotify, I would have never known this song was released. All right, cool. Wow. Okay, good to know. Gold. All right, we hear third track we heard was um, Anima. Anima? Is that Anima? Oh, Anima. no. Like a high I think so. I think it's okay. Anima. <laughs> Anima featuring Grimes that's cool and the song is called Welcome to the Opera and that's a self-titled single you can get on Apple Tunes so yeah. do you sing opera when you have an anima? yeah, well, yeah I'd, I'd sing opera if I was getting an anima <laughs> isn't Grimes the uh, ex, uh, ex of uh, the, 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 the richest man in the world right? yes Yeah. Uh, yeah. Right. Uh, that's yeah, what I thought yeah. I wasn't Baby sure but and um, this song is trending right now, <laughs> and uh, it's got a it's got a pretty cool music video. It's got two music videos, I think you can find. Um, and I also uh, got this on Apple. Uh, the second song in my set was by Fever Ray, out of Sweden, and um, this is the girl from the knife. Mm-hmm. And uh, this was the song "What They Call Us," the Nifra remix. Um, this remix is a little bit more on the EDM side. 
Um, this and the Anima song are like more of the like high energy um, EDM sounding. And uh, it's the, what they call a single on Rabid Records. I want to say that Mike was playing this to me in the car the other day. I was thinking about Mike as I was listening to it. Yeah. I'm like, Mike will be all over this. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then the first song in my set, I have to admit I played this because of the song title. It was Seraphim System out of the U.S. and the song is called Guns Don't Make Goth Music, I Do. And it's on the album called Mutant, Menagerie, and Grimoire, and it's self-released. That's a great song title. It's a good song, too. Yeah. I like that song. It's very noisy, and it's harsh, and it's just a lot of fun. So I tried to put some variety in my set, and I hope you enjoyed it. All right. Yeah, it's good. Good stuff. Good stuff. Who's last? Oh, Winters, you're coming up next. He's doing anything, Winters? You coming up with music? I think I'm going to play some music. (laughs) All right. (laughs) Come back. This is Beauty After Dark Radio, and you are listening to DJ Winters.
welcome back to Community After Dark. This is Winters. You just heard my set. Um, that last song you heard is brand new. Noro Makina out of Colombia. That's the song Liquido. Liquido. And that came out on Cold Transmission Music. I said it, I said it before. I'm going to say it again. If Noro Makina comes out with something, I buy it. I hope you liked it. Um, before that, I played brand new Local Suicide and Skelexis out of Germany. They are both out of Germany. Um, and I love both of these bands. And they're collaborating on this. And this is In Space We Roam. And this is the In Space We Roam EP single. That is a pre-order. And I forgot to put the date in, but it'll be there for you guys to look at. And that is coming out on Iptomenos Discus. Nice. I hope I pronounced that right. <laughs> um, well, go ahead, Moss. All right. Yeah, the fourth track in Winter's set was Ultra Sun. Love them. They're out of Belgium uh, with the song Broken Monsters out on Artifact Records. So that's a new album? Single. A single. Yeah, I just typed it in. Sorry. Okay. Love Ultra Sun. If you like Boy Harsher or Comfort Cure, Ultra Sun is the way to go. Uh, the third track we heard in Winter Set was by St. No! No, 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 no it's STA, STH. And what is that? Sem Semantics Department of Hedro. Hedronyms. 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 Okay, that's Hedronyms. too small for me. And they're from Spain. And the song's called Our Fear. Our Fear Fake is Real. And that's on Avant Records. So Fake is Real is the name of the album. Oh, what's Our Fear? Our Fear is the name of the song. And the band. Oh, so that's the band. The okay. band. Yeah, that's yeah. So the band is yeah. SDH, which stands for. Stands for. The Symbiotic Department, Department of, of Heteronyms. Heteronyms. Okay. Why would you come up with a name like that? that I think that's why they call themselves SDH. Um, but this is really, really good electronic music that I've been obsessed with since discovering them. Um, if you like, I don't know, I don't want to say Kanga because her voice is different. But if you're, if you like uh, non-human would be a good example. Um, they're, they're just heavy, electronic, dancey with uh, female vocals. It reminds me of like Berlin modern uh, EBM slash Cold Wave. Mm -hmm. Whatever that is, I don't. I'm not sure what it is. I think it's just modern EBM. Yeah, Kanga came out with a new pre-order today. I didn't get a chance to listen to it, so I couldn't add it. You can play it next week. <laughs> All right, the second track in my set is by Your Enemy out of Sweden. And this is the sing this is the single "I Am the Surprise" that came out on Progress Production. Um, this is really good EVM out of Sweden. Uh, I really, really, really like this track. You'll notice my whole set goes from super dancey to like, and it just kind of dwindles down to, but the whole thing is dancey. Um, all right, and the first track in my set was the band. Boodle, please tell me if I'm like um, spell, saying that right or not. I'm going to reach out to the band and see what they say. say. Um, this is an amazing industrial EVM act out of California that I have become obsessed with. And a lot of comments on this and the tracks that I've played off of it. Um, so I'm glad that you guys are liking it. So here's another track that I started everything off with. Um, and this is the song NHTS, which is on the new album Unit 1 that is self-released that you can get on Bandcamp. <clears throat> Maybe they just have a typo in their name and it'll help you find them. They just them. ran with it? Because that's how She Passed Away came about. Yeah. That's right, because if you had it like the other way, you come up with you, all this, this you woman would never died. Find <laughs> so it's a, yeah. it's a convenient typo. Maybe. Maybe. Oh? That's the right way. Yeah. All right, well, there's Winter's set. She has one more song coming up. Don't go anywhere, please. Stick around for the last song. Uh, we want to read our donations for the week. The donations. Thank you to all our donor kebabs. From Roland P., Marie Kiefer, 
out of Wisconsin, Marie B or John Dillinger. And what was it, Miles used to say? His escape plan? Don, John Dillinger's escape plan. Yeah, that's the John, name of the there band. You go. All right. Oh, that's the name of the band. Okay. Craig Roll, uh, Jesper Mathiasen, Ben Bolcock, uh, William Carroll, Lauren Gustafsson, Scott Zeman, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Carlos, I apologize, Alexander Vert. Yeah, Alexander Vert. A new monthly donation this week. We got one from Amy Alexander. Thank you so much, Amy, for joining us. Amy is out of Portland. Fantastic. Uh, CD of EBM Worldwide, uh, Scott Zeman. I don't know if I said Scott or not. If I did, Scott, I just gave you a uh, double love. We got one-time donation from uh, Carlos Rosales. Carlos is out of Huntington Beach, California. Wow. And Huntington Beach is where Darker just announced waves. a fantastic <laughs> festival for later in the year with New Order and Devo and all those amazing bands. So please, Carlos. Go to that festival and take some pictures for us. Uh, Dark Lord of Serpents, Katia Guttinger, Ricardo, Nigel Baker, Mind Killer Inc., Steve Halloween, and I believe that is everybody this week. We thank you all so much for um, helping us out and for yeah joining us. We truly appreciate it. You're all fantastic. Much love to you all. So uh, thank you to everybody again who uh, donated to the podcast. We truly appreciate you all very much. Thank you. And um, we're going to go to Winter's last song now. Yay. Brand new Orchard Task out of Florida. Local artist that I have loved for years. Uh, just dropped a new song this past Friday called Falling Star. Anything that he drops is just... It's just brilliant. worth trying. It's brilliant. Enjoy.
right, welcome back to uh, communityafterdark.com. Uh, you just heard Winter's last song. We have some comments we want to read from our listeners. Uh, Miles has got one from our website that she wants to read. Oh, yeah. So uh, we got one from um, last week's show uh, by Chad Andrew Hubner, who says, I'm confused. The first song is Mesh, Face in the Mirror, but you show it as being Black Car Burning. Mm. Do you have the correct playlist on this page? Well, actually, Chad, uh, Black Car Burning is a side project of Mark Hawkins from Mesh. So that's why you hear his voice. And uh, it's the right playlist. It is. So if you like Mesh, keep up with Black Car Burning. Yeah, that's uh, I played that song this week too, as well. Another track off the album. Yeah, we we'll played yeah. that one last week. So good ear. Yeah. And there's quite a few tracks on that album, so it's worth the buy. Yes, if you like Mesh, you will like the. Uh, I'm assuming you will like Black Car Burning. I, you know, that would be my guess. Because it's mix it up with right Black time. Rose Burning, which is a different band. Yes, it's a different band altogether. Completely different. Uh, did you want to read the next uh, comment, Miles? Sure. Uh, so the next comment is from Rick Newman. Mr. Oh. Saturday Night Fever. <laughs> is that what his name is right now? Yeah. So so Rick goes, yeah, on Vigand last week, I was totally wrong and you were right. I love to know the correct way to say things, so this is awesome to figure out. Thank you. Some awesome tracks again this week from all of you. I particularly love the new, new division, Echo Image and Black Car Burning. And of course, Zynek goes without saying. You got me interested to listen to some more Sydney Vallette as well, too. I'll be a CAD model for you sometime if you like, okay? Yay. If yeah. you allow underage kids for it, or should I say older mm. men, maybe I can get Walsh <laughs> on it too. But neither of us post on Instagram though. God, I hate IG so much. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> I love reading your messages, Rick. Yeah, he's fantastic. And by the way, that new the new division track, fantastic. My favorite song right now. I know I, I don't know if we're supposed to pick our favorite songs, but that's my favorite song right now. I I can listen to that song over and over again, and I never get bored of it. What's ever. it called again? One day. One, one day, I believe. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken. I, actually, I got I got a perfect picture of uh, Mr. Saturday Night Fever to put in there as the model. It's like he's sitting on my lap, so we'll use that one. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh my yeah, god, I love that. Send that to me. Great idea. All right. Yeah. Bill's gonna be so pissed. <laughs> Moss, why don't you read one more? Sure. Uh, we got a comment from David Munoz who says, I like how after 15 years you guys still get shit for all the talking in between sets. I think that's what sets Cat apart, especially on YouTube as opposed to an audio only podcast. There are a ton of cool channels and DJ sets on YouTube, but CAD is different, and I especially like the reactions to those nifty shots of the week. Yeah, see, I agree. Thank you. That's awesome. Yeah, and we show you what we're drinking. We, like, hold it up to the camera and explain it and everything. Yes, I think it's really cool. All right, and then we got a comment from Lorcan Nagel, who I believe is a longtime listener to our podcast. Lorcan said, I'd like to also express an appreciation for the talking sections as well. So that's pretty cool. It creates more of a link between you and the listeners. I like hearing your thoughts about the music and like you have guests on a lot and a lot of them are music musicians. Yeah, well, we did. We haven't had too many musicians on this year. We need to get some more musicians uh, back on the show. And he said, why would you not want to hear what the people whose music you like have to say? I agree. Good stuff. Thank you, Lorcan. There you go. There you go. I agree with you there very much. Uh, Jonas Snell, another longtime listener to our show, Jonas Snell 132. Maybe it's a different Jonas Snell. Um, it's a great show, Cad. Impressive this week. Must comment respecting. Oh, must. Yeah. Must comment respecting DJ Winterset. Love how you introduce artists from several different countries. Uh, Sydney Villette. I want to know depth to be discovered here. Personal favorite discovery has to be the new art from Feudal. Moving. That was the name of the track that Winters played by Feudal last week. Exciting to hear this artist releasing new pieces. Some good stuff. Yeah, Sydney Vallette is fantastic. Uh, I, what I've heard based on this uh, Feudal artist that you've uh, been playing, it sounds excellent as well. So, I know I even got a text from John Agar 
because mm-hmm. he listens to our show, but he doesn't comment or anything. No. And he texted me and he was like, Tom, knocked my socks off. And then you just came in with like, hold my beer with that feudal song. Wow. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Well, there you go. Some good new stuff there. And, he only uh, sends me dick pics. He doesn't text me. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> nothing, nothing. Ooh, all right. That's scary. All right, go is ahead, Winters. Is it feudal? Did I say feudal or feudal? It's just, just spelled wrong, feudal. and so my brain is it, like... Winters is feudal. Go ahead and read your next the next comment. And, of course, I get this one. Tenebrous triumvirate... Uh, basically transfer to Dark Trio or something mm-hmm. similar. Love the sets this week. Can't wait for Mouse to join next week. I especially love the cover you spend me round. Yeah, um, Tenebris Triumvirate. Um, I believe it's on um, me. Yeah, I could be saying that wrong, of course, as well. Uh, we actually, who who is it? Oh, Dave Montoya. That's mm-hmm. right. He had to make that comment last week. And, of course, we weren't, um, I guess we're not up on our Latin and um, we weren't aware of what it meant at the time, but it does mean dark trio. So we're behind on our our Latin studies. Yeah, thank you, I Dave. I like how Mark says Latin. Latin, like Latin. It's like, it's like, like Aladdin. It's, it's, it's like Aladdin. And the Aladdin. magic lamp. The magic carpet. It's coming out of the magic lamp. <laughs> <laughs> All, right, All right, one more. It says I'm really digging Gold's German set. As someone who's trying to expand my German beyond Duolingo, I appreciate this. I will cool. say that Gold got a large amount of love a large last amount week for of the comment. German. His set was that booming. he played. Yeah, oh, see? I don't even remember it. <laughs> well, what? Yeah, go, go back and look at it. Let me was see. Was it just last week? Last week. Last, yeah, last week, week so a lot of people. It was on uh, you played yeah. Ashes and Android, Zynic, Neuroclast, Brute Control, Destroyed, Decrups. Oh, okay. You were representing yeah, German. Last week. Yeah. Nice. The great set. Yeah. So there we are, and um, we are done for the week. Thank you, Mouse, for joining us again. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Yeah. Yay. Yay. And thank you, everyone that tuned in to Twitch for Mouse and Mark this past Friday, spinning their music videos. Always pay attention when there's going to be a Twitch because it's fun and you get to hang out and chat. Yeah, it yeah, it was fun. And we had Winters on a couple weeks ago as well on Twitch. That was a good time, too. So join our Twitch um, channel or follow us on Twitch. Or is that what they do, Mouse, or they subscribe? I don't know. You could do both. You can follow and oh, subscribe. Follow, follow and subscribe. Okay, there they go. So do do one or the other or do both. That's even better. Do both. You and uh, hype train. follow us on Twitch. We did. We got two hype trains. Yeah, oh, Winters... We should do a Twitch with all four of us. That would be fun. That would be crazy. That would be crazy cool. Yeah, that would be a good time. All right, well, maybe we can do uh, that if uh, in the future, but that's up to uh, Mouse. Because <laughs> Mouse is the one who puts it together. All right, so uh, we're going to go now, and we'll see you all next uh, week. Have an amazing week, all guys. Right. Bye. 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 Don't look straight in the camera, because it looks like you're looking into our souls. Yeah, you're good at that. You've got to have one first, though. <laughs> <laughs> Mark, did you get your did you get your smash in the mail? Smash? The, the, oh, the, the best of ones? the best of. Yes, yes, I did. Mm-hmm. Yes, thank you. Yes, What's that? thank you. It was the best oh. of Pet Shop Boys. Pet Shop Boys, all their singles. Didn't they already have that? Mm. Well, this is like all the way up to now, and then they put out um all their videos on two Blu-rays. Oh no, that's cool. On Blu-ray, it looks really good. I love videos. I love when people put out yeah, all their, especially they have pet all their shop videos. Boys. Mm-hmm. I was jealous that last Pet Shop Boys show. Sherry, you were down close with Carol. Hell like, yeah! That must have been amazing because we were like kind of up in the air, like looking down. I saw them. I saw them two tours in a row, and I enjoyed them. Pet Shop Boys are. It's just an amazing time. Well, yeah. What is that? What is that? I saw you guys posted about it. Yeah, it's, it's that. It's that restaurant in in Denver that that Cartman goes to, like that, that yeah, Cartman yeah. wants to go to with with the with the seat. Well, I it, know, it, I it was saw started, that. So the, the guys from they started doing real shitty, and so uh, so the um, guys from South Park bought it and they put put about a million dollars into the place and got. Uh, they're literally redoing it. Like it looks yeah. fantastic. 
Yeah, I mean it's all but the it's same shit. It's all the sh yeah, it's all the same shit, but um, but they have better food. I mean that's what everybody wants. But but they actually they also they made the pool deeper so you can have two divers at the same tide instead of just one. They have the diver on the top, and Cartman's like, "Come on, jump, asshole, jump!" There's only one, or is it like a chain? You can have like two two guys. It's like two guys jumping at the same time. Yeah, like we watched hands. like a YouTube on that. They bought it because it was nostalgic to them, and they didn't want anything to happen to it. Yeah, so and they, they bought were it. Yeah. <laughs> well, they just they just got paid out five hundred sixty million dollars to, to both of them for for all their new seasons and movies and shit they got. Really, more really? seasons. Yeah, they I got, thought they, they were tired of it and they didn't want no, to do it No, no, they, they, they signed for 11 movies and three seasons. Three more seasons. Wow. Mo 11 movies? TV, TV movies. Yeah, those. TV movies. Did the COVID those ones. ones that they come out with, like if there's yeah. like, they did the pandemic one. Then yeah, they did they the do, they vaccine do, like, 10 one. one of those more, Are they good? They're, they're funny as shit. <laughs> oh, okay, good. Um, the best one is when they all grown up. Paramount? They, they actually grown up. Is it Paramount? Paramount Plus that. That's all I was going to say. <laughs> Will someone turn off that music? That's enough. I'm putting an end to this freak show right now. <laughs>